Tesla's car troubles, Facebook ads group calling, Snapchat's controversial filter, and more. It's Wednesday, April 20th, and this is Crunch Report. What good is a Tesla car if the door won't shut? That's what some customers may be wondering. There are now reports of several Model X sport utility vehicle owners claiming that the doors and windows won't close on their $138,000 car. So much for those fancy falcon wing doors. A Tesla spokesperson told TechCrunch that, quote, while we have seen some issues with early Model X builds, the issues are not widespread and we are working closely with each owner to respond quickly and proactively to address any problems. They better fix those glitches before the Model 3 cars ship or there will be a lot of unhappy customers. And because Facebook pretty much wants to own communication, Messenger is rolling out group calling. Starting in the next 24 hours on both iPhone and Android, users can start a VoIP audio call and group chat for free. Just tap on the phone icon, select group chat members that you want included, and everyone receives a Messenger call instantaneously. You can see who's on the call and ping anyone who's late to join. The call can handle up to 50 participants. I don't know about you, but I think this beats dial-in conference codes any day. Well, this is awkward. A new Snapchat filter has some people wondering if it looks too much like blackface. In a move that seemed to celebrate today's 420 holiday, a lens was unveiled to make you look more like legendary musician Bob Marley, namely a cap, beard, dreadlocks, and darker skin. There's been a backlash, but Snapchat has been standing by the filter, saying they launched it with the approval of the Bob Marley estate. Yet while this seems like an innocent mistake, there are some pretty major negative historic implications to blackface, so it wouldn't surprise us if Snapchat changes its tune. An Uber competitor just got quite a bit of cash. $120 million was invested in Cabify, a Madrid-based on-demand car service company that's been picking up steam in Latin American countries. Armed with a valuation of $320 million, Cabify plans to use the capital to expand with an initial focus on Argentina and Brazil. Much of the money is coming from Japanese e-commerce giant Rakuten, which also invests in Lyft. It's going to take a lot of money to fight Uber. And a few updates to Google's mobile apps today. You can now listen to podcasts inside Google's app. Now Android users can search for podcasts using Google's search engine and then simply click a button to listen without having to subscribe or switch to a different app. Meanwhile, Inbox by Gmail has some added functionality. An update released today has made it so that you can keep track of events and the email conversations about them. The app will also show you a preview of newsletters instead of hiding them away in a low priority tab. The update will also make Make it easier to save and share links. That's the report for today. I'm Katie Roof. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us at iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.